looking upon me then and speak with me, or naked as I am, I will assault thee. What is the matter? Behold! I have a weapon. A better never did itself sustain upon soldier's thigh. I have seen the day that with this little arm and this good sword, I have made my way through more impediment than twenty times your stop. But, oh, oh, vain boast. Who can control his fate? Tis not so now. But not afraid? Be not afraid, though. You do not see me weaponed. Here is my journey's end. Here is my butt and very sea mark of my utmost sail. Do you go back dismayed? Tis a lost fear. Man but a rush against Othello's breast, and he retires. Where should Othello go? Now, how dost thou look now, O ill-starred wench, pale as thy smock? When we shall meet at cop, this look of thine will hurl my soul from heaven, and fiends will snatch at it. Cold, cold, my girl, even like thy chastity, O oh, cursed slave. Whip me, ye devils, from the possession of this heavenly sight. Blow me about in winds, roast me in sulfur, wash me in deep, steep down gulfs of liquid fire. Oh, Desdemona, Desdemona dead, oh, oh. Where is this rash and most unfortunate man? That's he that was Othello. Here I am. Where is that viper? Bring the villain forth. I look down toward his feet, but that's a thing. If thou best the devil, I cannot kill thee! You had your sword from him. I bleed, sir, but I'm not dead. I am not sorry, neither. I'll have thee live, for in my sense tis happiness to die. O oh, thou old fellow, thou wert once so good, fallen in the practice of a damned slave. What shall be said to thee? Why, anything. An honorable murderer, if you will. For not I did in hate, but all in honor. This wretch hath part confessed his villainy. Did you and he consent in Cassio's death? Why? Dear General, I never gave you cause. I do believe it, and I ask your pardon. Will you, I pray, damn that demi devil, why he have demanded the wife that thus ensnared my soul and body? Demand me nothing. What you know, you know. And this time forth, I never will speak a word. What? Not to pray. Torments will ope your lips. Well, thou dost best. Sir, you shall understand what hath befallen which as I think you know not. Here is a letter found in the pocket of the slain Rodrigo, and here another. The one of them imports the death of Cassio to be undertook by Rodrigo. Oh, villain. Almost heathenish and most gross. And now, now here's another discontented paper found in his pocket too. And this, it seems, Rodrigo meant to have sent this damned villain. But that belike Iago in the interim came in and satisfied him. Oh, the pernicious caitiff. How came you, Cassio, by that handkerchief? That was my wife's. I found it in my chamber, and he himself oh. confessed, and even now, that there he dropped it for the special purpose which wrought to his desire. Oh, fool! 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 There is besides in Rodrigo's letter how he upbraids Iago that he made him brave me upon the watch. Whereon it came that I was cast, and even but now he spake after long seeming dead, Iago heard him. Iago sent him on! You must forsake this room and go with us. Your power and your command is taken off. Cassio rules in Cyprus. <laughs> For this slave, if there be any cunning cruelty, you can torment him much and hold him long, it shall be his. You shall close prisoner rest, till that the nature of your fault be known to the Venetian state. Come, bring him away. Stop you. A word or two before you go. I have done the state some service, and they know it. No more of that. I pray you in your letters, when you show these unlucky deeds relate, speak of me as I am, nothing essentially, nor set down aught in malice. Then must you speak of one that loved not wisely but too well, of one not easily jealous, but being robbed, perplexed, 
in the extreme of one whose hand, like the base Indian, threw a pearl away richer than all his tribe, of one whose subdued eyes, albeit unused, to the melting mode dropped tears as fast as the radiant trees their medicinal gum. Set you down this, and say besides that in Aleppo once, where a malignant and turbaned Turk beat a Venetian and traduced the state and took by the throat the circumcised dog and smote him thus! A bloody period. All that spoke is marred. I kiss thee or I kill thee. No way but this, killing myself to die. This did I fear, but thought he had no weapon, for he was great of heart. More Spartan dog. Besides time. More fell than anguish, hunger, or the sea. Look upon this tragic loading of this bed. This is thy work. The object poisoned sight, let it be hid. Gratiano, keep the house and seize upon the fortunes of the Moor, for they succeed on you. To you, Lord Governor, remains the censure of this hellish villain. The time, the place, the torture, oh, enforce it. Myself will straight aboard and to the state this heavy act with heavy heart relate. <laughs> oh my god. Is there a dog here? Talk about breaking the. He hath the technology. <laughs> Okay, well. Wow. Well, you can stop now, probably. Yeah. Everybody gets 